Hey guys, welcome to Nerdarchy for Nerds by Nerds. I'm Ted, hanging out with some of the colleagues here. Dave. Nate. And uh, today we got a, a viewer request from Tebow HT. He wants to know how would we make a halfling barbarian. So I, I guess this goes into our killer combo, unorthodox builds for sure. I would absolutely think so. So, you know, he says halfling and he says barbarian. So that's, that's a lot of our choices picked out. But halfling has two sub races. I think with this particular situation, you have to go stout for your, your con bonus. You do. I mean, unless you want to go for that charisma ability that the uh, barbarians get. That one. That yeah, the one. <laughs> intimidating or three foot intimidating tall. presence. Or as opposed to the straight up armor class and hit points and. It's not enough. It's not enough. <laughs> That's what Lucky's so, for. <laughs> so okay, so the the biggest problem with this build is <laughs> that. Halflings are dex based. Right. Barbarians are absolutely strength based. Absolutely. So you're either just going to totally ignore your your rage damage bonus, or you know, or you're gonna. I, I don't see any other way to really go. Well, well, how are we talking about ignoring it? It doesn't put bonus to strength. It just right, well, adds damage right, with, a, with a melee attack, right? No. How, all right. It's even more specific than that. You yeah. have to be doing strength based damage. Wow, it really says that. It really says so, that. Man. All right, so... That's disappointing. Here, here's, here's my deal. We're going to put our 12 into decks, bring it up to a 14. We're going to put our 13... Sorry, our, our 15 into con, making it a 16. And we're going to put our 14 into strength. I would absolutely, I would absolutely not do it that way. All right, what would you do? I would put a 14 in decks and the 15 in con, and... And you give this guy a shield and be like, "Yeah, he just doesn't get hit." That's how, that that's that's how he's tanking it. <laughs> okay, I mean that's my opinion. All right, you... I, I like I like the shield wielding barbarian. For okay, everybody. I say we dump intelligence. Okay, yeah, I'm fine with that. Uh, you know, the next highest. St- so we got a twelve and a thirteen. So we have a, tw- a twelve, a thirteen, a ten go, and an eleven, right? A ten, a ten. So we could do, we could do ten in charisma. Okay. Mm-hmm. So we got a 12 and a 13 to do strength and wisdom. I put the 13 in strength. Yeah, we could do 13 strength and uh, put the 12 in wisdom. All right. So that gives us a, a 13 strength, 16 uh, dex, 16 con. It's pretty pretty solid uh, solid build. So you wind up with a nice uh, 18 armor class, equivalent of uh, full plate. And then, you know, we just have them... So, yeah, we just have him fight with, uh, I guess he's got to use a, a finesse weapon, which is is a short sword finesse? Yes. Yeah. So, he, so I guess he's using a short sword. We'll just call it a machete. <laughs> <laughs> and he's using a shield. So, you know, naked, he's got an 18 armor class. Yes. As long as he's got a shield. As long as he's got the shield. Which, which isn't bad. Yeah. So, what are we going? Path yeah. of the Totem or Frenzy Berserker? Uh, I, I'm I'm not a fan of the frenzied berserker. I, I I almost always you know will choose the totem. Yeah, he doesn't. You just you just get no love on the uh, on the on the frenzy berserker. Like his ability is really cool, but the problem the, is the exhaustion resource is is deadly if, if, yeah. if you, you if you overuse it. Well, that's the idea. You're not supposed to. You can only really use it like once. You don't encounter. say this is a resource I'm going to use every time, like my like my second attack when I get it. <laughs> It's for killing something that you need that needs to be dead right now, in the next few rounds. I mean, but and not only that though. Like, um, I think the frenzy berserker they get the other ability that I like too, retaliation. Yeah, is really sweet. So, like, technically the barbarian, can, uh, fre- the frenzied, uh, the path of the berserker can pull off four attacks around, like the fighter essentially. Mm-hmm. If you hit, you know, so retaliation is do you have to, uh, okay. So if you take damage, you attack them. You get two attacks for being a barbarian at fifth level. Mm-hmm. And then if you frenzy, you can get, you know, that's a fourth attack. Yeah. Which which I kind of like. But you got to you got to be 14th level in order to get retaliation. You do. Yeah. But uh, we uh, retaliation doesn't make me want to choose the path. I would actually choose it for, because of the frenzy rather than anything else. Yeah. 
I don't. I don't know. Let's because uh, I think that's the biggest. I just feel thing like we is, always take total. So, all right. So let's let's go. Well, let's not take berserker. Path of the Bear. How about that? All right. Let's no, not no. take Bear. <laughs> now we can, we can go Path of the Berserker. You get frenzy. You get mindless rage. You know, not being able to be charmed or frightened while raging. Um, Which is kind of a big deal because if you stop, you know, attacking things, you come out of rage. Mm -hmm. So that's that's actually a pretty good. It's just a straight up immunity. Um, and you know, I kind of like I like the idea of this halfling like biting his shield, frothing at the mouth, and being really you know really savage and primal, leaping on the things' backs, cutting heads off. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> with his machete, he's got he's got spikes on the shield to help him climb with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because maybe spikes. maybe he was raised by Tasmanian devils. <laughs> <laughs> he can go into that spinning frenzy then. Oops. Yeah, pretty much. That's when he gets that extra attack. <laughs> That's yeah. when he gets tired too. <laughs> so what is, I mean, you can technically use what like frenzy twice. That before it gets really bad. Yeah, well, but one, that's one, in, well, one, you, you only get so many rages a day anyway, so that's true. And by fifth level, you have you've got two attacks, so basically you're on par with the fighter and an ability for damage before him if you want to use your frenzy once a day. Without it, you won't have any detriment if you use it once a day. Right. Yeah, because you can you can be able to rest off your your one one level that of exhaustion. Means, yeah. By that means it don't doesn't continually stack onto it because right. if you're using it twice a day. You're gonna come up against a wall where you're just gonna. Yes. You, if you use it, if you use it twice every day, you've got four, you know four or five days until you're dead. Yeah. Oh right, that's the problem. It takes friggin' full day to remove one condition, right? Yes. One, one long rest will remove one level of exhaustion. And it's a really high level spell to even get rid of exhaustion. Yeah, yeah. yeah. One level. Yes. Mm -hmm. Exhaustion is freaking brutal. Yeah, that, that's 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 my that's my beef with you know. All right, you get this third level power that if you use it. You know, I just think it's funny that instead of just saying once a day, they're like, nah, you can use as much as you want. <laughs> you can use as many times as you've got rages. No yeah, problem. Now, technically, you can get to the point where you're in, you're technically unable to do this because you can't move. Yeah. So you can't technically enter your frenzy, you know, because it's, it's literally just going well, to kill I you. I mean, a movement of zero, you could just, uh, <laughs> Put me on a put me on a cart. Roll me over there. I'll get angry. <laughs> I'm just I'm just gonna lay here. And I'm gonna get really mad if it Reck gets close. Uh, reckless attack. Uh, <laughs> you can't have triple disadvantage. You right? just rage yourself to death. <laughs> so that that's my only thing. You know, you get Path of the Berserker gets the frenzy, which is a you know literally a resource that can kill you, and the intimidating presence, which is a charisma thing that. You know, it's not really a barbarian thing. I love intimidation. I just wish that you could use your strength mod here um, instead of your charisma. Yeah, but, and you have to give up an action to do it too. Yeah, the entire. Action well, I mean, I don't have action. I don't have a problem with using your action to get an intimidating thing. I think there's times that it totally fits. You know, especially out of in, in, a, in a leading up to, to combat situation. You know, as opposed to attacking, it's just like I'm gonna I'm just gonna try and scare the scare the heck out of you so that you don't attack me. You know, I think that that totally works. It just it's charisma. Charisma is typically a dump stat for a barbarian, and you know, I, I don't think it works, especially with this build. I think well, you should hit him three times and what go. If what? We, what if we take that thirteen from strength and put in charisma and put the ten in strength? So we're not going to use the rage damage at all. Well, when it gets up to plus four or whatever, you can use it. Well, no, because unless you're like you, you it's un it's unoptimal to not keep raising your dex. Your dex is your to hit, your to damage. Like yeah, you're, you're basically getting, um, you're just getting resistances from your rage. Yeah, you, you and like, everything else. I, I almost there. feel like if you go, if you go with a character that is de dex based and you're a barbarian, I, I kind of feel like you're gonna be like, yeah, I just, I'm just never gonna really use that ability. Okay. It's uh, only a few extra damage. It's not really that exciting. Well, I mean, it, when it, you can think it about hitting better and doing more damage. I mean, it scales up to, to four damage per swing, and you know, if you're going, you know, the frenzied berserker, or the path of the berserker, you know, that that's up sixteen to, points of damage a round. Yeah, I mean, it's not massive, but sixteen points of damage every round. Yeah, but an eighteen dex gets you plus four. Twenty gets you plus five. Yeah, well, yeah, but and, you're you're uh, you're, you're saying still gets you plus four. <laughs> You know, you're, you're saying that, but you know that plus four would be on top of your strength bonus. Right. 
Yeah, but your armor class would stink. Your armor class would absolutely stink. And that's the problem with a dex based character being a barbarian because then, you know, you either need all the stats or, you know, which would bring us back to Gone Well, you know what? Uh, 14, 14, 16. 16. Versus um, yeah. 13, 16, 16. So, you know, I don't have a problem dumping out the rage damage. I mean, everything else about this this character is pretty awesome. You know, a, a typical fighter isn't getting, you know, um, it can get that high of an armor class, but it's not, you know, as, as... Well, you know what, though? Looking at it that way, though, like, that's still a 17... It's still a 17 armor class if you go with the... The 14, 14, 16? Yeah. And then, you know, again, we're still dumping... We're still dumping... Uh, intelligence and then you yeah. have your 10 and your 12. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, again you're stuck with that. The last three stats stink. If you Well, a 10, and a, a 10 and a 12 for your intelligence and charisma isn't all that bad. You're going to have that anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So, you know, either way you know. And then we give him a hand axe instead of a instead of a short sword. Well, he can still use a short sword. Yeah, he's a barbarian though. What about a spear? You could do a spear. I like the spear. Yeah. I'm, I'm fond of spears. They need the length, you know, the spear taller than themselves. And then, you know, it's still a versatile weapon, so it could always, uh, you know, use it two-handed. Mm. Or if he's small, if it's a versatile weapon, does he have to use it, or is it only if it has the heavy property? Like I know, you, I know the long sword, they have to use two-handed. Oh, they do. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Because it's the size of a great sword for them. It's not third edition where the weapons were sized. Yeah, I know. So, so either spear or hand axe, depending on the um, on the uh, on whether or not they have to actually wield it in two hands. So, so we have two different actual uh, stat paths that we could go, and one is where we're kind of dumping strat and making them all dex based, and the other is, you know, we go even keel for the for the physical stats and, and try and uh, make the best of of what what a deck space character has to right. work with. So whichever whichever option you choose, you can go <coughs> with. Where do we go background? It's a barbarian. They're always outlanders. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> just, just so that we have some choice. Folk hero. I was going to say, let, let's give another you know possible choice. So why, why do you pick folk hero? Because uh, it's not an outlander. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, come on. he's he's He must have raged something to death. That was that was bothering a town or bothering some villagers or something, you know. Well, you know, I think uh, folk hero works really works really well, um, you know, because I, I was still I'm still thinking of like the, you know, the Tarzan where you're raised by apes kind of deal. Um, but in um, in the sense that, you know, maybe he was raised in, by an animal in the wilds, but. You know, he stumbles upon, you know, civilization and, uh, you know, starts kind of like observing them. Mm -hmm. and, or, or, you know, maybe a girl, like, he, you know, washes, does the wash at the river, goes and get buckets of water. Oh, like J and, Jungle Book style? Yeah, yeah, and becomes enamored. Or, or you know, or maybe it's a female halfling and it's a boy, get, you know, getting the pails of water. And she becomes enamored with them. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and while getting water, he's attacked by something. And... That something is driven off by our heroine, and that's how she became. That's how she became, you know, folklore, folklore status, and kind of got adopted into the, um, in, into the town. You know, they took him in and, and, and tried to like civilize him and stuff, like so, kind of like Tarzan. Well, with with that story, either Outlander or folk hero could work. Well, that's it. I did it on purpose because I'm ta I'm I'm mixing the okay. traits from mm -hmm. the two. So you get with folk hero, you get animal handling and survival. Outlander gives you athletics and survival. So both of those definitely, uh, you know, definitely work. Um, you know, you get the rustic hospitality. You know, as uh, you get land vehicles, right? For um... for a folk hero, yeah, yeah. Art one type of artisan tools and vehicles land. So. You know, so what if what if whatever he was raised by is big enough for him to ride? Like giant snakes. Giant snakes is weird, and and those and giant snakes do not raise babies; they eat them. There are Gorilla. some reptilian snakes that care for the young, right? But not other people's young. <laughs> <laughs> Girls. 
totally, totally see this little guy on the back of a gorilla. Mm -hmm. Totally going Tarzan style, huh? Could work. What about horses. He was raised by wild horses. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. what made him feral. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> feral pigs. Well, that might they might eat them. <laughs> they might actually eat them. So that won't work. Horses do a lot of running. The herd, the herd. Giant badgers. Running. Giant badgers. A giant honey badger. <laughs> badgers. We don't need no stinking badgers. <laughs> so. so. Well, let's have the people decide. <laughs> well, you know, I just wanted to, you know, you know, be like, oh, land vehicles. Well, it's possible that it could actually have uh, been raised by something large enough to get on its back and ride. And that's how he learned, you know, mm -hmm. riding skills. And actually, he probably doesn't even know how to use a saddle. But bareback, he's in there like Flynn. <laughs> nice. Yeah, uh, so 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 we uh, went against the grain and took the inferior frenzied berserker. You know, we went, against the, grain, went, against, the, went against the grain, dumping your rage damage. Yeah, or we could take the rage damage. Either way, there, the, the, there's two options of build that there. <clears throat> uh, we went folk hero, but stole from Outlander. Yes, take that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we went stout over over um, Lightfoot. Lightfoot because it's just superior. Absolutely for for uh, this character build. And uh, with that, all all wrapped up in a neat little package, we have our our, our frenzied, frothing, heroin, halfling. <laughs> halfling barbarian berserker. Nice. Hey guys, let us know in the comments. Cut him right off. See the guys got him. <laughs> let us know in the comments below what you think of the build. How would you build it? While you're at it, like, share, and subscribe. You can check us out on nerdarchy.com. Go join the conversation over on Reddit. So until next time, stay, stay nerdy. nerdy.